Well, the U.S. Senate's gun control bill is in shreds. This afternoon, the Senate rejected new legislation. The vote, a devastating loss for gun control advocates, and has angered many in Washington, including New York's senior senator. Craig Smith is in our newsroom right now with more on the vote and the reaction. Craig. Well, Greg, Senator Chuck Schumer says the rejection of gun law reforms will harm the country, and Governor Andrew Cuomo calls it unacceptable. Today, fear, mistruth, brute political force won out over what is right, and America will be a less safe place because of it. The proposal was bipartisan, designed to reduce gun violence. A few Democrats and most Republicans defeated it, a bill to expand background checks at a time of purchase. The president called it a shameful day in Washington. He was joined in the Rose Garden by victims of gun violence. A majority of senators voted yes to protecting more of our citizens with smarter background checks. But by this continuing distortion of Senate rules, a minority was able to block it from moving forward. The amendment is not agreed to. 60 votes were needed to require background checks at gun shows and for internet sales. President Obama accused the National Rifle Association and some lawmakers of lying. The gun lobby and its allies willfully lied about the bill. Some opponents pointed to the Second Amendment. We should be especially careful to safeguard the constitutional rights of law-abiding citizens. Others said the bill won't be effective. Expanded background checks would not have prevented Newtown. Criminals do not submit to background checks. Some of the families of people who were shot to death in a Newtown, Connecticut elementary school in December plan to keep fighting for the bill's passage. Two other proposals that failed, a ban on high-capacity magazines and an easing of restrictions on concealed weapons carried across state lines. Governor Andrew Cuomo issued a statement calling the vote a sad statement on the power of extremists to stand in the way of reason and common sense. Craig Smith, CBS 6 News.